Listen, if you're trying to get some home lab experience within the GRC space and you're looking for ideas on how you can document it and capture it in kind of in a portfolio, so A, you get the practical skills and B, you can demonstrate that to potential employers, then you're gonna love this video because in this video, I'm gonna show you three different completely uh, distinct ways that you can learn GRC skills you know, at home and be able to document them to demonstrate compelling evidence of your capabilities to employers. You're gonna love it. Now, just for context, every single weekday morning from 8 to 9.30 a.m., I go live for one hour and do a live daily threat briefing to about 500 people, and then right after from 9 to 9.30 a.m., I do a 30-minute live ask me anything, you know, basic cybersecurity questions and such, and this question came up. It was so good that I snipped it out and made this video, so I hope you enjoy it, and if you want to come join us for the live streams, go over to simplycyber.io slash streams and join us every weekday morning. It'll be fun to see you over there. I hope you get value from this, the video. I'll see you in there in a second. Oh, Polo says, what are three good projects to put on my resume for GRC analyst? Ooh, very good question. All right. Um, so BSEC says, write a policy, do an audit. I 100% agree with that. So Marco Polo, listen. If you're a GRC analyst, the work you're going to be doing is talking to the business, uh, doing surveys of information security, like, you know, responding to, you know, like, what's your information security here? Doing audits and risk assessments and doing uh, end user awareness training. So for a project, like BSEC said, write an information security policy, um, put like get a blog, get it a personal space or whatever, put it there, outline what, like where the value is. You could even write like, three or four policies, right? Like, think about this. This is like a, uh, you know, 1000 IQ play. Write a couple different policies, document each one, how you did it, what you did, bundle them together in an archive, make it a downloadable from a Google Drive store and call it a free small business information security policy starter kick, kit and, and just make it available, post about it, share it. Give it as a resource away, right? I'm not I'm not talking about lead magnets. I'm not talking about selling something. But if you make that available, you can A, point to it easily. People will know about it. People that are in businesses that don't know they need policy but don't know where to get it will use yours, right? You can put your uh, contact information in the policies themselves. You might even get a job because of it, right? But at a minimum, you'll be able to not just point to policies that you've written, but you can talk about... Like, say you're in an interview and they're like, well, you know, we write around a policy. What if you don't want policy? You'd be like, oh, like I actually wrote a whole bunch of policies and I, I've, you know, there's many businesses that are using my policies right now. Um, I think that that's a really compelling um, interview answer to a question. Um, another one, BSEC says, do an audit. I agree with that. Grab grab any framework, NIST CSF, CIS 18, it doesn't matter. Go volunteer at your church, at a local business. If your friend's got a business, you could even you could even do it for your home network if you really wanted to be serious about it, but do that um, as um, as an AI, uh, as an AI. Do, Jesus, Jerry. Shall we play a game? Do that as an, um, as an experience. And again, document it, make it available. Um, I will say with an audit or a risk assessment, the results are sensitive, so do not post those online, right? So like, say you do an audit on your home and you're like, oh, the, the internet facing router is grossly behind patches and you make that publicly available. You're basically, um, <laughs> you're basically uh, pulling down your pants and running backwards through a cornfield. You will get stuck eventually. So don't, don't, don't do that, okay? But you can point to it, you can redact the findings, et cetera. And then, of course, end user awareness training. If you've done my GRC Analyst Masterclass, I show you exactly how to make compelling, effective behavior modifying information security awareness content. Make a bunch of those, put those online, share them, bundle them up, and make it part of your small business starter kit. Done and done. All right, what else we got up in here? Jamin19920 says,